Hello everyone, we are the Factional Fight Brothers, my name is Brian, that's my brother Adam, and today we are on the test server. And why are we on the test server? Because we were trying to get on to the test server to test something, only to find out that Adam here is completely, was like, in fear of it. <laughs> to the point where he didn't want to try because he didn't even know where to begin. So uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to discuss what the test server is for and how exactly you go about to get on it to make life easy for everyone to test. So let's get started. All right, so we're here on the test server, and uh, Adam. So, what was your problem with the test server exactly? Well, <laughs> yeah, like I, I, I must admit, I, I feel like I've been on the test server once before, and I like nearly logged off right after I logged in. And and the reason I feel is because I I not, I had no idea what to do exactly or how to go about testing stuff or like it. It just felt like, you know, like it. At first, I didn't even know how to download it. So, you know, I I never really, I never really tried. You know, I never put in the effort, <laughs> and, and it's because I really didn't know how. I didn't know what I was. Well, was really, yeah. Let's try to take some of that away. Uh, the first thing that people will want to do is go right here. We're okay. in pedia.com. Okay. Very simple. You'll find right here a link to unstable live so this link here the play will give you the stable live version the version that the worm devs think that everyone should use the unstable right. live is if you want to see some new features that might be coming to the game in the future on the live server however right at this moment that this um is being released i think that the devs would prefer that everybody try the unstable yeah, I the think reason, so. Yeah. The reason is because the unstable is soon to be the stable. Like, there's tons of things on the unstable client that are new and are not yet on the stable. And they are pushing to get the unstable to become the stable. And they want to make sure everybody is going to be okay with that transition. And they want everybody to click that link and test to see if your you know, setup will... That's right. And then the next ones are... Stable test and unstable test. Uh, we are currently on the unstable test. Either of these will work. They'll log you into the test server. So just click it, download, and log in using the same username and password as your your uh, live account. Mm -hmm. They'll log you into another character. Once you're in, you'll find that your your <laughs> <We're Adam. laughs> If you're Adam and you logged in, you'll find that you're a girl, <laughs> which is funny. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's pretty funny. Uh, the other thing is that you will also find that you have no skills. It's like starting again. You're on a completely different server with no skills. But since this is the test server, you want to just test. You don't want to be playing the game. So right. what could you do? You can activate any item in your inventory. Then right click on a floor tile mm -hmm. and click on test. Okay. Yeah, and I get this window that you says You get this testing. window. What can you do here? You can create items from scratch from here. You can okay. raise your skill level of everything up to okay. 90 and so set your characteristics in... to 90. So if I click in 90 in the set skills, to 90 and set characteristics to also 90 and I hit sure. send let's do that okay so now all my skills are 90 instantly instantly all of your skills okay and body stats that makes me look feel at a that. lot better already so now you don't have to train anything you can just go and test away okay so That's you fun. should feel like okay maybe I can actually <laughs> do something on this server and not yeah. have to like spend so much time and maybe have fun stuff that you can't possibly do on the uh, on the live server you could do here you could test it mm. out 
I really like that building. <laughs> I yeah. really like how that marble. I like the marble anyway. tea arches. <laughs> anyway, uh, so at this point, you can also spawn in any item. A lot of people like to spawn in Drake armor <laughs> and dragon scale just because you don't have the ability to do that <laughs> on the live yeah. server. Uh, what got... I found really funny was that like you look at there's piles like drop of drop stuff all over the place and some of these piles have like Drake just lying on the ground. <laughs> You'll never see that in the live server. Uh, <laughs> Or all the way down, and you'll have a whole bunch of different, you know, 10 large nails, 10 small nails. Yeah. Now, I, I notice it's not everything. You right. can't spawn any item, but you can spawn mostly all of the raw materials that you'll need to create any item that you need. Yeah, you know, there's a couple of things that are missing. Like, for example, I couldn't create the sandstone building. Right, um, because there's uh, no sand. I'm stuff. finding there's stuff missing as well. Like you can't create. Let's say you wanted to create like a a compass, or right. any item that drops from animals when you butcher mm -hmm. them. Yeah, we were finding like cat's eyes would be impossible to make because there's no. Well, unless I could kill these horses here, there's no like animals to butcher eyes off of on yeah, the test but server. You'll find that if if you're on here because the devs want you to test something specific they usually provide the items that you need right, right. so you, you'll you'll look around and, and you'll find something look at this and i've the... read somewhere that if you go to the IR, if you log in the in-game irc and if you don't know how to do that you press f1 and type in irc um there's gms in there that will f1 help you IRC. out so if you just type in there i'm on the test server is there a gm that can help me out um usually they will respond to hmm. there it is irc uh one thing that i noticed wow i love the shadows on the server mm. and my computer can actually handle it unlike the old client where i turned on the shadows and my computer just right. uh, gave up like over here it's, it's actually fading because it's becoming dark but like right here you can kind of see some of the, the yeah. shadows coming through the trees. Look at that. And you can see that little that a, hint there. That is nice. And, and you know, like currently, and I don't know if it's going to change, but currently the way that the test server looks, wow. there's like a difference between that and the real servers, the live, un, even the unstable clients on the live servers. Like there's definitely somebody has been tweaking something and it, looks amazing i have and to say listen this is the time to come onto the test server and try it out before right. it gets to the live server if your Absolutely. computer can't handle it and is crashing i'm sure the devs would want to know now that it's happening before right. they transfer all this stuff to the test to the live server and then you find out that you can't play right <laughs> yes you want to so. you want to test this out now and let the devs know if anything now um because yeah it, uh, apparently this is becoming or the the unstable client is becoming the stable client and i don't think you'll be able to access the old stable client at that point or at some point in the future anyway that's right so you know come on help test and do yourself a favor if you don't want to help test just log in and see if it runs yeah <laughs> that... Not, like it's things I wonder about, like for example, like the um, the water looks different to me. Does it look different to you? I I don't know. It looks more like water, like real water. Anyway, I feel like it looks similar. I don't know. If you, another thing that I notice is that the GMs uh, set up places to test new features, like. And, and I know that there's people who come on here specifically to test for the devs or our GMs or whatever, come on here and they test things to, to death. And then they'll do things like, for example, place some BSBs like these ones over here with a ton of cat's eyes in it. Oh yeah. For you, 
just play around with those. And then there's down here a little bit more. There's uh, some BSBs filled with um, the materials you would need to pave the walls of caves. Did you not notice that that the BSB was died? Is that possible? That is possible. Oh my god, <laughs> you're so right. That's amazing. That hasn't been announced, has it? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just on the test server. We don't know. We don't. Yeah, know. but I haven't read a single thing about BSB is getting died again. That means all wood types are going to be able to be died again. That would be lovely. Maybe with this new client, we're going to be able to get wood, different wood types back, huh? Huh? If I create I a willow, so. it'll look like a willow built wood item. I hope so. I wonder if uh, we can spot anything that hints at that. I don't think so because the boats don't show. No, you'll, you'll never know. Maybe, maybe sometime in the future. Anyway, yeah, uh, so back to what you were saying. Yeah, and like, I, what, I guess what I was saying is that the devs or the GMs or somebody, um, I'm not sure who, sets up these stations, I guess. Every time a new feature needs to be tested, They'll set up these stations and you can come and just like all, all the materials will be there like i remember reading that the cook when the cooking um system was being tested that you can log in and they'll just be like bsb's full of food and there's ovens there set up for you to like just experiment with so you don't have to go do the leg work of you know farming all the crops or foraging or whatever it's all set up there for you to just dive in and just mess around with the new systems and you know it might give you a leg up in the sense that it you might think, oh, I, I need to prepare for this. Like, for example, mm. the cat's eyes are coming, like, just came in. But let's say I found out about it before and I figure out, hey, I, I'm going to need some eyes. So you can start in the real game collecting these eyes and preparing for the updates. That's true. That's true. So in summary, I don't know. Come onto the test server. Download it. Yeah. Don't be afraid. Get your skills up, create items, turn up the, the graphic features. settings and test out what it looks like in the game. God, I was in the game and I didn't have the shadows on because usually I don't have shadows on. It crashes my system. Now I have the shadows on and we were, I mean, you can even see on this, on this bridge and we, we were going under the trees we were going under the path and you could see the light filter through some of the tr like the, the tree holes yeah. and you could see the outlines of the tree and it just oh the immersion was amazing yeah. and i was getting 60 oh, right, frames yeah. per second i can't you know what it. now that i feel a little bit more comfortable with the test server when they say that the new ui is on the test server i'm like the moment they say that, I'm coming onto the test server. I don't think I ever would have before us, you know, delving into the test server now, uh, today, or you know, this is the, you know, first time I'm really experiencing the test server for real. So it's really got me a lot comfortable. So my message to all of you is go and just test it out. Get the test server. To, it, it. You don't need to re-download the game or anything because it just uses the same. Like whatever game you already have on your system and it's like takes literally under five minutes to get in on the test server that's right anyway go get the test server guys we're gonna be on here for a little while we're gonna we're gonna test out the highway system so uh we'll see you guys next week where we'll be back playing worm hopefully we'll see you guys in worm as well so take care everyone keep on worming we'll see you guys later